Alright guys, you know the drill. This isn't a scary movie. Sure as fuck though, a scary game. This is Outlast. Surviving Outlast. Let's just get straight into it. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's all about. Oh, this game is so good. If you do not know, I turn the lights off for scary movies or games or stuff like that. Because, you know, why the fuck not? Alright, well we're getting already right into an awesome time. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. Oh shit, dude, that guy's just like following him. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is surviving the cornfield, I think is what it is. Oh fuck, was that a dude right there? Oh my god, dude, this is... The story behind this is so bad. Oh, like the camera's gonna survive that, please. A lot of new mechanics in this game. A lot of cool stuff you can do. Huh. Like, I wanna know what the fuck these people are. They just, a certain amount of them go crazy and kill the rest of uh, the city or town, I mean? The fuck's going on? All of a sudden you turn around, he's like right there. You're like, oh fuck! That would have scared the shit out of me. Dude, fuck this. Corn. F Dude, they got. They got a fucking creepy ass, southern looking uh, town. Right? So, like a town in the middle of nowhere. So they got the crazy farmer killers, with the, you know, so it kind of brings you back to those crazy movies, the Texas Chainsaw movies, there's mountains, so you got the t Hills Have Eyes vibe going, got a cornfield, dude, they put everything in from like early 80s, 90s scary movies that there ever has been. They're going insane right now. I believe in you, bro. I believe that you can make it. What the hell is L and R? Is it supposed to be right left? Like Oh, is a sound quality so you can Oh Oh Run for it, you fucker. Run for it, you fucker. Oh, does he have a um uh, one of those like little dish things you can pick up sounds around you? Or is that telling you how loud you're being? That's kind of a cool feature. I don't know what the eyeball in the top right is. Or the little red dots. What is that an O? Oakley's? Oh man, did Oakley's make this camera? Oh, he's heading back. Oh shit. This fucking guy right now. Oh, there's a hole. Fucking hole, man. God, this game gives me chills, man. Trying, you know, I get that whole like. And were you ever a kid playing tag, and that kid was right behind you? You could just feel it on your spine, like, oh no, don't get me. Whenever I'm running away or something like that, that's what I think of. Something like that. You get that feeling whenever you're like trying to hide and somebody's coming up on you. Ooh, what's that in the background? A water tower? Just go up to that thing right there. Oh no, that's that. I thought that was further away. I look like a like water tower way, way, way out. But nope, it's just a fucking uh, a small little windmill right there. I was gonna say, just go up to the top of that and jump off and kill yourself. Oh shit, dude, he's making a break for it. These people are coming out of nowhere. Oh, you can look behind you. The features. The features. Oh my god. Alright, so that was the uh, surviving the cornfield. Dude, that's fucking creepy as shit, guys. Like, I don't. 
It's just fucking creepy. It's just a creepy game. It, this one's like, it's just as, I don't know, they're not showing a lot of the crazy gore, maybe because it's like being, you know, pre, uh, um, previewed. What the hell am I trying to say? Review, um, previewed uh, into the general public. You, nobody wants to see someone getting their asshole eat out. Who the fuck knows? They're really selling this on the thriller aspect. Not even coming close to what the gore is really going to be like. Which I personally believe is going to be just off the charts again. It's like, oh god, who are those people? It's like, they went above and beyond to make like this game, like their games really horrible. Or like I know Grand Theft Auto kind of went above and beyond, and uh, there's some other games I can't remember that that just really went above and beyond making things just crazy. And now Outlast is the newest version. Holy god! All right, man. Like I said in the last review of this game or reaction to it. This is not a game for most people that want to play it. This is something you just kind of have to play through. You're in the middle of it. You're like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And then you die. So, oh my God. If you've played this game, if you've played games like it, let me know in the comments down below. Love to see and love to hear you. If you like this video, leave a like on it. I'd appreciate that. And if you want to share or subscribe, remember it's completely up to you. But if you plan on sticking around, why not? I do appreciate it. And if you uh, do leave a comment stuff, I read all the comments. I try to be really involved with the community that I'm making on this channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Once again, my name is Azure. I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys. It's still pretty early. I'm still fucking tired. Jesus. Uh, it's just never going to go right, is it? It's just never.